Well, hello there. Welcome to the Administrative Results Second Channel, a channel where I do whatever I want. There are no rules, but mainly I just do other stuff on here. Today we're going to talk about my World War II LARP kit for the BAR video. Now, this is the kit used with the BAR video, so I wanted to go a little bit more Pacific -y theater vibe with the camo. From head to toe, we got my World War II helmet. Now, this was a hand me down from my late grandfather, who was actually a World War II vet. So I figured, of any chance I get to use this bad boy for the YouTube channel, I always love showing it off. At the Arcturus Ball Clava, the clothing is from Americana Pipe Dream Apparel. It's that Duck Hunter camo. It should be reversible, but this one I don't think is reversible. Yes, it has a different color on the inside, but it doesn't button up right, I believe so. It's got a Timex watch, got a leather shoulder holster, thanks to Nick, guest of the channel for the BAR episode with a World War II 1911. Really does add to the texture. It's, it's, it's a hot buzzword on these videos, texture of the LARP. I'm not a big fan of the shoulder holster. So then moving down, got the BAR belt itself. I actually like the BAR belt. I feel like it's, for what it is, a modern piece of kit for the era. Holding up to 12 BAR mags. I usually loaded the very far side ones with just one mag because I had trouble reaching back there to handle the second mag. So I just figured I'm going to save myself the headache for the video. But overall, pretty cool modern design. Stuck some grenades on here, some dummy grenades. I like the look of it. I think it adds to the texture of the video, right? Moving down, got my boon dockers on the feet. I got these bad boys from at the front. So I wanted to make the, you know, the LARPs as good as I can. Now, Nick actually brought out a really cool piece of kit. This is going to be the BAR Gunners, uh, essentially toolbox. You can sew this wherever on your person. I just threw my pocket to add to the extra little LARP flavor. Then of course, got a canteen over here. Just threw it where I would think I would want it if I was drinking and on the move, right? So overall, pretty simple little kit, guys. Really fun to look at. It worked now not too bad. Is, for what it is, it's actually pretty comfy. Not too shabby, right? Of course, I'd rather have modern kit, but you essentially get the gist. Well, a quick look at this kit. Just wanted to show it off for you guys because these kits do cost money and I think that they deserve a little bit of light of day. Oh, can't forget a very important part about the World War II LARP because you know you might die. You got to have your lucky strikes. This is not sponsored by Lucky Strike. <laughs> 